Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today, and today we're just going to do this, uh, well we briefly shown this one on, on, on our um, on our two year special, but this um, fairly rare in the UK um, Hoover Constellation. Now this one, um, in fact, is, as you can see, it, perhaps it, it tilts, and it's got a tool canny on the back. Now this one originally, I got this one about about 15 miles from the house, believe it or not. Show them what kind of washing motor it's so got. So we're going to show you the racing plate first just to try and explain what's going on with this one. Because this one is a Hoover 843 Constellation vacuum cleaner. Now, according to the rating plate, it should have 120 volts DC to 60 cycles AC. And it has a... 750 which equates to 750 watts and it is from the hoover company north canton uh, on ohio boy melt here all right yeah we've got loads of stuff coming in i think they might be knocking at the door so we might be pausing in a minute yeah they're going up north shit. yeah they will do so we'll just pause the video because we're probably going to get something knocking on the yeah, door this one here was originally um going to be used to repair a musical instrument um, like an air driven um, keyboard and what they do is they use the blower function on this one to instead of using the bellows because you'd have bellows in this musical instrument like keyboard thing you would have um, you would connect the vacuum and switch it on and it would use and it would use that as, as an, a blower instead of using your feet to make it a lot, a lot easier to uh, use but as you can see, look, it does come with a, an original brown um, floor head. I mean, it is not in great condition. So, but it is usable. Are we maybe going to use a different hose? The hose on it is yeah. not an original hose. It is very manky. And we might use them. So that one's, uh, we're literally going to throw that, that hose we away. We might use the hose away. Yeah, so the, the in, next part is the poles. And we're going to use this pose. These poles here. Yeah. They're pretty much wedged in. I'm hoping to take that back slider. Take the slider off and and knit it onto another one. Um, so that's going to get chucked as well. We'll have to cut hole in it. Yeah, well, they have to double. But it is a fairly easy machine actually to make. Here's a bit what we're going to lose. You can actually use like, for instance, this is not the hose that's going to be on there, but it's just to show you. This is a, a this is like off a Hoover Junior two set. In these. And what you do with these basically, you can push these on like that. These. You push them in then. I want to show them it working. Yeah. So we're just gonna make up a set of poles here on the camera. This bit here that pushes into there. Quite tight. Screw it. Yeah. You get in. Well, I better get in a minute. Um, pull one of these. Um, obviously, the they are normally a little bit longer, but then, you know, constellation um, hoses are actually quite hard to get hold of. Isn't tubes? Because they there. perish. Is there tubes going? And we've got a couple of tubes as there. So what we're going to do now is have a look inside this machine. It's hundred. Well, oh, actually, we're actually going to show switch the thing on for us. Actually, to just show you, it is actually. Uh, no, and, and, and what and why have you got a version of it? Well, we're going to we're actually going to investigate today something that when we do on camera, which is to see why it's um, working on um, 120 on right. 240 volts. So it does work fine. It doesn't float great. This one, mind you. Turn it on. It is working. It does. Bit it does float. A bit. You 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 switch that one off now. The switch is a bit sticky on this one. Yeah, it's got a sticky switch. Yeah. They, they have sticky switches on it. I mean, it is. That's the way they are. So it does sound. 
It sounds, and it sounds like cigarettes, guys. Yeah, so now we're going to investigate inside this one. And this guy so is... This, so this one actually has a... The tools. A tool caddy, and it's tilted like Saturn. <laughs> I'll tell you. So... And, and this guy soaking in his... Yeah, so as you can see, look, it has a... Henry A bag. pneumatic Henry bag, a vintage style it's one. It's got that bit. Yeah, it has. So, I mean... That's that. The next interesting uh, part with this one now. It's got a disc cloth. This is a jade jade cloth, they call these. These are like these. I can remember these when I was a kid. Um, like a throw, It's a throwaway like cloth. cloth. So we'll get rid of all this. No, my school's still got say cloths. Yeah, you can still buy jade cloths. But we have got... Now this is not a genuine bag, mind you. We have got genuine bags. But this uh, is a... Dad, it's shat head. Yeah, so this one has, we have got a bag, and Filters. we've got another one that's a bit cleaner, so we might put that one in. Not do it now. It comes off. Yeah, we're not doing it now. No, I, I, want, to, I want to get a sat head cushion. Yeah, and we also have got, a, on another um, a lot of, of consolations, I actually got a load of filters with it, so... Uh, We've got another constellation coming up as well, but it come with a load of filters, so and that was one of the reasons why this one looks like it has been bags. it has been used. So we've got this, so this is bit can go on there quite nicely. Oh, I've got a screw side You wanna suck suck some of this out first. But uh so we'll just use the bit. <laughs> just put the work of this out. I can do it. Just get the worst of that out. So we're going to investigate today to see why this uh, imported vacuum, it was it must have been either imported. This one came out around the late Sorry. 60s, around 1968. I think it's... Oh, it's on that head. Yeah, we're just going to get the worst of this out. Now, some of the... The later machines, they have got. Here it is. Where's that filter? There's, there's a foam filter gone. There. Some of the later machines, like the eight six sevens, have got a foam filter in there. Now what I've done, but this is not obviously. This may be going in here if it has got that. Because uh, what happens? And it's with, still got that bit in it. So got that so, bit in it. So got the passive bit in it. No. It? Some of the later ones, the eight six sevens. I've got like a foam filter in it. Oh, oh, oh. A six baby got a pink continuation. And what, belt on. what happens is they perish. So a six baby got a pink continuation. So this one's come all the way from China. This is actually a, what I'm going to use for on, on our few machines. And this is a. Uh, shark filter. This is for a shark. Rocket. Shark um, lift away filter. Yeah. Oh, 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 I think oh, this one was about oh, £1.30. Oh, oh, shark rockets in the USA. So I'm actually going to use one of these I'll filters and cut them in away. to fit in there, hopefully. Uh, one of the screws are missing. No, I won't worry about that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so that's a good sign it has been taken apart. Um, I think they just use standard size screws. No, 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 no. I have got a scrap machine anyway. Pull it up, now. Right, so let's actually have a look inside this one now then. So it is a little bit dusty. It looks like it has been bodged. They have just connected it all in. If you look at it there, there's a new rest melter. Get me some wipes in, mate. We'll give this a bit of a wipe off in there first. There's a new rest melter. I think it might be. I'm gonna have to have a look for the suppressor because that's the one thing. Tell you came out where is the suppressor? Give this one a bit of a clean up now inside here. But as you can see, up by the light, it's a UK motor. It is a genuine Hoover motor. It's UK. Um, that's the end bearing. Is that needs greasing? Um, as you can see, look. You said it don't need greasing. They don't need greasing normally. As you can see there, like they've used these butt end um, crimping adapters. Why they butt? Because they just they crimp and join two wires. So it has. So 
I think that's what. How it works. It looks like, like this is the original lot. Well, this is newer stall ones because they never used uh, these stall in any machine I've ever taken apart. No, 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 the chest ties. Twist ties. Now, so this has, looking at it, Twisted had and a it motor wires apart. fitted. And I think it is, and it may be wrong, I think it's an 862, which is the pink constellation I, now, I, 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 I told you it was that one now I've actually got a picture of the pink constellation Delta. when I took it apart and um, so I will be putting it on now Go on there now. and now so this one here we'll put the we'll put this one back together now yeah, there's still oh, yeah. a little bit of muck in that motor, so we've got to put the little um, bit back in. That's how <laughs> it should sit back in the machine. Now, so that will go over. That cap goes back on there. Uh, now the lid goes so on. So uh, I might even give this another bit of. So I will be washing this one again, obviously. Bye. So we're now going to have to try and get the top back on. I'll get the top. So it looks like to me it's been converted. They put a 862 motor. Um, as you can see with the crimps on it, that's a fairly uh, newish job on it. I mean, it is it's such a nice example. It is amazing to actually have a, no, a have UK film version. Here. Just have a film here. No, that's how they work. So what we've got the next bit here, uh, I've managed to put two of the screws in. I'll find the other screw from the scrap uh, machine that I have. And um, we'll do this. So the next thing really now is to put this footer in, which is a two-handed job. So uh, we'll put in, so instead of that, that piece of J-cloth, we've got a fairly nice generic, it might need another wash again, I don't know, but we'll just stick it Turn on it for the minute. Off. Turn it off. So we'll uh, stick this in. The motor back in, well it's quite an, an awkward uh, um, thing really, because really, actually I've got these, yeah, I'll sort that in. Tilt. It's quite awkward, really, because because it's tilted. So what I did is I actually put the floor head underneath it to actually make it Higher. more of the uh, sort of flatter angle, and it went in a lot easier. So uh, uh, we've um, took this oh. dirty one out. I'll probably wash this one up. So we'll put a clean one in. They pop in a big one. Yeah. So there's that one. It's in. I don't think this. I don't think this is in right yet. At the moment, it's right for now. You to go that way. Yeah, they go in that way. So this is a generic bag. Um, I have got a couple of sets of um, bags for these. I've got so we've got Who's the got blue the ones. We got the blue ones and we got the yellow ones. So we got some. Do you want one of these? Yes. So where uh, now? We'll just get this one a quick wipe down before we uh, fire this one up and see how if see if it's a lot better. So it shouldn't be thrown out so much um, dirt and dust now because we've actually got rid of all the dirty stuff out of it. So I'll wipe this one off quickly. So now he's looking a lot better now. I've actually given a quick wipe down now. I haven't actually um, used any chemicals or nothing on it. I just looks, used some. It, uh, it looks like a consternation like this. It looks like an old consternation. He bent it. So this is a quite an interesting one because it's, as you can see, look, it's angled, but the 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 angle was to take this tool caddy, um, because one of the things that we found with the constellation was there was nowhere to put the tools. Yeah. And uh, so this one. No way, some sort of tools in the handle. So this they one is a. Some people some sort of caddy. Is a late sixties machine. So some this people one. Some people sort of caddy tools in the handle. Yeah. So this one here was around 1968. Um, it is an imported machine sometime. So or, in the USA. Or somebody may have emigrated and convert. But this one has had a conversion done. So uh, around the continent. It looks like it's been done by possibly a shop. It's been it's done it's been done fairly good, the conversion. 
Um, they've used a crimping blitz, the bits on it, so it's well, been done pretty good. Yeah. Um, the suppressor has been removed from this one. That was the one thing I was worried about them because they've got fairly big uh, su suppressors in them. Uh, exactly so like, I'm yeah, we're not getting that one now. Yeah, they're like that. They're quite big. They are. So um, they call them ticking time bombs, don't they? Uh, ticking time. Uh, when they do go, you just get that burning smell, but they still continue working. And who assuming there's always goes? Yeah. So uh, so this one as well. So I've just put this hose, oh, this pose. This is a temporary um, hose, mind you, for this one. So we're just going to fire this one up now. It has no, got a, it has got the what I would call the ribbed cable, this fluted or ribbed cable that you had on the US machines. Turn it on. And it has got that dark brownie colour that you actually. And it's exactly the same cable as the old hair sizes. So what we'll do now, we'll fire this one up now. It's not going to show. Look, it's not even hard to show. It's it doesn't feel great, but I think because no. the. Say, 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 yeah, I think this one's got like a. I'm not going to say it. A 500 odd watt motor in it, it should, well, it should have a 700 odd, 750. So the pink continuations. Yeah. So this, possibly, I think, maybe swapping it for a later constellation, which was a 700 watt one, might work a little bit better. Yeah, we'd have to have that filter on it. But we'd have to have the filter in no, it. No, and you can't fit the filter on, have to have a decent bottom. So, uh. It's going to pass a bit. So we'll just switch this one on now. I've just, all I've done is dusted it out mainly, just had a little look. Uh, turn it on. Yeah, it should be all dry in there now. I want to use wipes. Oh, it's going to go bang. I'm going to switch it on then. Uh, I don't want to stand near it and it's ready to go bang. It won't go bang. It is. is it floating better? Yes. Yeah! It's actually floating a lot better now, look. Just by, just giving it a clean out. Um, <laughs> What it was, it was the filter on the top that was restricting it to float. So it's actually quite a nice machine now. It does sound a lot better now, doesn't it? It's sounding better. So um, on the next video. Oh, look, I just can't do this. Just can't do it. I don't need that. Yeah. So it's floating pretty good now. It is quite a unique, uh, yeah. Yeah. possibly one of the most unique ones they ever did. So, uh, switch that one off now, then, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So, I only paid twenty, about twenty pounds for this that one. That sounds nice. And all the cigarette ash. Um, all the stuff we've had. We don't sell the cigarettes anymore. No, because I've got rid of the dirty filter. And we so, all the cigarette ash in it. On the next video, we'll hopefully have this one looking a lot cleaner. Um, on the outside, obviously. You know, I think this is just paint. Hopefully, I can um, T nice cut the paint back. This is always a tool. Yeah, that's an original tool, but we haven't got any more brown some, ones. Some, one of the ones on Google have a white tools. Yeah, it? some of them have white tools. I mean, I have to put a set of white tools on it because it ain't going to look right. So, uh, what you say now, Carl? Bye for now and please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8 and thank you very much for watching. And uh, like you say, it is a nice, because um, Carl's got quite a lot of constellations in his collection. This has actually been one he's actually been after for a long time. And we were thinking about looking at possibly getting one from a, another country, but when this one turned up, in fact, I thought this was the Battleship Grey one because the photo was so bad, wasn't it? It looked grey, it looked like, white and grey. Ones. Yeah, so it looked like the Battleship Grey the 60s one, but I can't believe that this is American one really, and it's been converted to the UK.